Well, greetings and welcome to the midweek update brought to you from your host, Pastor Tal Lewis, and brought to you, I almost said live, but pre-recorded from the slowly improving, always looking a little bit different youth room that's located on the second level uh, of the church. I come to you today with some reminders and even some new news uh, to be shared. So uh, listen carefully and share it with your friends. First of all, a reminder that on Saturday, March 20th at 10 a.m. in the morning will be our next all-church gathering. That will be the first one for 2021. You can participate in that either live or via Zoom. A Zoom link will be sent out on our constant contact email the day before. So on that Friday, uh, the 19th, watch for that email. Just a reminder that our new app can be found in your app store on your phone or device by searching for Medina United Methodist Church. Check it out. I'd show it to you on my phone, but my phone is busy recording at the moment. So take my word for it and check it out. Speaking of technology, we are just 18 days away from the debut of our new streaming platform. That will happen on Sunday, Palm Sunday. And you can find your streams there for worship at medinaumc.com. That change enables us to send the feed, the video feed, to more places at the same time. And that's good news. Another change you're going to notice on our YouTube page is that once the worship stream is over, all that will be available for viewing will be the message. Churches are licensed to stream music but not to post the music after the stream has ended. What that means for you is that if you want to watch the entire worship service, if you want to participate in its fullness, you need to do so at 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock while the live stream is, is actually live. After that, you'll just be, it, the only thing available will be the sermon. In worship this week, we continue in our series entitled Of Sin and Salvation with a look at John chapter 14, verses 1 through 7. As you make your way back to the sanctuary for worship, allow me to encourage you to get back in the habit of bringing your Bible, maybe a notebook, a pen, something to take some good notes with. Uh, those things are not yet available in the pews. They might be at some point, but not yet. Uh, so bring those worship tools uh, along with you and get back in that habit. And be reminded that our, our COVID protocols are still in place. Uh, for your safety and the safety of those worshiping around you. Be reminded that our entire Holy Week schedule will soon be available at medinaumc.com. That schedule will include Palm Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and then the happenings on Sunday morning, Easter Sunday. The biggest change you'll need to note for Easter morning is that the 9 o'clock service will be the praise service with the praise team for that day only. <clears throat> the 11 o'clock service on the square then will be the traditional service. And we'll also be streaming a pre-recorded Easter traditional service at 11 o'clock as well. So just note that change, nine o'clock praise service in the church, 11 o'clock traditional service on the square. The main reason for that change is that uh, uh, mainly the difficulty in relocating all of the praise equipment to the gazebo uh, is the main reason. The benefit of having the, the service at 11 on the square is that it gives the sunshine, hopefully, uh, a little time to do some warming work before worship begins. Well, that's all I've got for you today, friends. Blessings on your day. It's sunny and 60 in Medina, so get out and soak up some vitamin D. God bless you, friends.